Hello and welcome to another episode of my recording internship. Today I would like to go over maintaining our tools, specifically our hardware. Now for me, my hardware is my laptop, it's where I do all my production from home, and how I maintain my social networks to ensure that I can do business, basically. Um, so it's really important to make sure you maintain your computer, especially if you're going to be running a lot of plugins in a DAW. Now, my computer has been running perfectly fine for three years now. Um, I haven't had too much overheating, if any at all. Um, however, I do think I can decrease the temperature a bit because um, some of that thermal paste from when the computer was made is probably dried up if they even used any. and there may be some dust in the fan left. So today we will be taking care of that, which will hopefully uh, result in the temperatures running a little bit lower, and uh, this will help extend the life of the laptop. Um, high temperatures are bad for computer chips because they increase electrical resistance and they can speed uh, pathway degradation. So um, you're running really hot all the time it can basically uh kind of fry out some where some of those signal paths are so i'm going to do a benchmark um processor frequency highest temperature all right so let's see i'm going to do the benchmark Just do a five minute benchmark for this purpose. I'll come back when it's done. So before I go, see how the package temperature is thermal throttling. And let's see, it's about 84, 83. So thermal throttling is basically the safe, making sure that the chip doesn't go beyond whatever the temperature um, it's restricted at um, w when the computer was made. <clears throat> and uh, to keep it uh, below any higher temperature than I think, it's like 85, 86 is uh, the highest I've seen on this. It will take down the max core frequency. So um, the throttling does kind of bring down the uh, speed of your processor. And uh, this is not only going to help lengthen the life of your computer, but it will also hopefully um, make the processor run better as well. Um, I have my turbo boost right now, and I am under volting to bring down the temperatures already a little bit. Um, as you can see, the core voltage offset right here is where I have it set to. Alrighty, we are back here, and let's see, um, alright, we came to 703 marks. Um, before I did the, um, again, if you're going to plan to use a tool like Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, please look into, um, your specific setup. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not responsible for, uh, any damages. Um, but undervolting is generally pretty safe. I, I'd say you could start, um, uh, on at least my processor. I have, um, <coughs> uh, I have a Intel i7 uh, 4710MQ, and uh, I managed to maintain a stable state in the stress test on the CPU at the negative. So, <clears throat> uh, this is a great tool. Just uh, make sure you look into how to do these things properly and how to make sure you're maintaining um, your computer stability. So now we're going to dig into this computer, clean out the fan, brush off the fan and heat sink, as well as apply the thermal paste to <coughs> the uh, GPU and the CPU. Now for audio production, the uh, GPU isn't necessarily important. However, if you're going to be doing it, uh, I'd say may as well in case you want to do a bit of gaming, it may come in handy. All right, so here we are with our laptop. A few of the things that we are going to need are a uh, screwdriver to get any screws off of the back plate of the laptop, as well as some thermal paste. I'll be using uh, Thermal Take, the TG7. And uh, I got both of these for less than $10, this one from Best Buy and this one from Walmart. We are also going to need some Q-tips and isopropyl alcohol. Um, you probably have both of these laying around wherever you live. And uh, two salsa bowls. Uh, I like <clears throat> I like to use two salsa bowls just to put the screws in. Um, especially the black table. They're not going to roll around anywhere. Um, a can of 
uh, cleaning duster, or a can of compressed air that I got from an adolescent delinquent who was trying to huff it. Snaggy right off of him. Uh, if you live in any big city, uh, you may be able to walk around enough and find somebody abusing one of these. Um, these are optional. I'm going to use gloves. And, uh, alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're about to get started and screw in this back panel here. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say one more time, I can't be responsible for any damages that may happen if you do this with your own laptop or computer. Just make sure that you are very careful and look into your specific needs. Um, and here we go. Alrighty, so there was a little delay in um, the video. I accidentally stripped a screw. I could not see that I was stripping the screw because I was looking at the camera's uh, screen. And so this is just a friendly reminder, size does matter when it comes to screwing. <coughs> Alright, so we're just going to slide up this back of the laptop here. Put that down. So right here we got our heat sink and the fan. I'm just going to pull up the fan there. And here we got our right size screwdriver. And we are just going to undo the screws on the heat sink and the fan. And we will take that up. All right, so we're gonna take out the heat sink here. All right, you can hear that that piece was old as fuck. Be very careful nudging this thing out. And here we go, we have the fan and the heat sink. So yeah, as you can see, there's the old paste there. Super sloppy job, as you can see. Uh, whoever did this computer before it was sold did a yeah, uh, we're going to fix this. <clears throat> so what we're going to do first is we are going to grab our Q-tips and put on a little bit of some rubbing alcohol and swab off all this old gunk here. Oof, nasty. My camera's running a little bit low on battery, so what you're going to do, just real quick, it's going to take some time, um, I'm just going to swab off that, use a paper towel, make sure it's nice and dried off, um, so clean all of that old paste off. I'm also gonna make sure to clean off the, I'm gonna clean off the paste off of here and here as well, just using the Q-tip and uh, some paper towels, and I will be back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do before we repaste is we're gonna clean out the fan. Um, while the fan and heat sink are out, I am just going to spray the compressed air in where the fan is. Make sure you have it upright. In the vents here. And I like to spray over just in case any like paper towel bits or or um like Q-tip hair kind of got in here. Just gonna just glaze over it real light. Okay, so we're just gonna take these tiny screws out. Um, a screwdriver that you can use is if you have a vape, like a vaporizer. Um, you can use the tiny screwdriver that comes with some of your vaporizers, especially if you make your own mods. So in here, you can find that little tiny screwdriver, and you can just use that to take out the little screws in the fan. So now we can just kind of tilt this up and we can spray around in the fan. Um, you want to put like a pin or something like this just to spray it. All right, so uh, one quick thing before I put the screws back in the fan here is uh, any stubborn big chunks of dust. Mine was pretty clean, um, but you can take out any of the stubborn dust with like a paper towel. Just kind of wipe it off, uh, wipe it out of there and then spray for the, for the what's left. Um, uh, with, spray with the compressed air for what's left. Um, so I'm just going to put these screws back in this and then we're going to repaste and we'll be good to go. Now that we have um, dusted out our fan area, our fan, and cleaned off the old paste, we are now ready to take our new paste and get repasting. Um, the paste I bought came with this little spreader here. We're going to be using the P and line method, so we don't really need that. So first I'm going to start, you can see we have the NVIDIA card here, the GPU and the CPU. I'm going to start with the CPU, and since it's long, I'm going to do the line method. Now the trick with thermal paste is you don't want to use too much and you don't want to use too little. So, <clears throat> here we go. Just 
trying to get it as even as possible. We're going to adjust it a little bit, but now we're going to do the P method for the NVIDIA. Just a little bit more. Uh-oh. So there's a little too much. If you use too much, it's no worries. You can just take a Q-tip and scoop up the little bit of extra. Or you can retrieve your scraper that you tossed across the room. There we go. Take that Q-tip. Cool, now we're ready to reassemble this here. Be very careful as you slip this in under here. You don't want to get any of that on here, so definitely watch what you're doing. going to screw back in the heat sink here. I'm gonna screw the fan back in too. So we're finally ready to put the cover on this bad boy, get it started, and re-clock and see what our speeds are and our temperatures are for our CPU. But before we put the cover back on, what I like to do, just to make sure that there's no leftover debris from any of the cotton swabs or the paper towels, is to spray a little bit more of this compressed air in here just to make sure there's none of that floating around that could end up short-circuiting anything. Also, plug in the fan again, like so. So now we got our fan plugged in, screwed in. Heat sink back on after reapplying the paste. Just a few sprays. Grab the cover. Slide this on here. So here we are back in the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. We're about to run another benchmark. I have read in a few places that thermal paste breaks in over time. However, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's uh, run the benchmark and see what score we get here. Whoa. Holy temps, Batman. 76 degrees Celsius and 3.34 gigahertz. Let's put the uh, old test right next to this and we can make a comparison here. Awesome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope we have discovered something about how awesome it is to maintain our hardware. This will extend the life of our computer as well as make sure that we can run things smoothly.